Hello! Welcome to my channel. In addition to African violets, I also grow a few other Gisneriate plants, such as Streptocarpus and Epicias. Recently, I received a question from a subscriber asking how I propagate my Streptocarpus plants. So far, I've tried two different methods. Propagation from a leaf cutting, similar to African violets, and the second method was by dividing a mature plant into separate crowns. While it takes at least a couple months for a streptocarpus leaf to start producing babies, propagation by crown division has been a much quicker method for me. And in this episode I will show you exactly how I divide and repot my outgrown streptocarpus plants. Here I prepared for you two different varieties that I currently grow. One is a younger plant. It's called Bristol's Nightfall by Ralph Robinson and it is the first bloom of the young crown that has resulted from the separation of the older plant into separate crowns. And I grow all of them on wicks, just like my African violets. So this is a younger plant. And this is an older plant of Dale's Polar Canary by Dale Martins. It's a compact growing variegated streptocarpus variety with bicolor blooms and most of the blooms have been spent and on this one you can still see the coloring so the upper uh, petals are lavender in color and the bottom lower lobes are yellow with some um, purple shading around the throat. So this plant I received as a baby at a local African Violet Club's ruffle last year in 2019. And it has outgrown its pot and has grown multiple crowns and is in desperate need of rejuvenation at this point. Here we can see several symptoms of nutrient deficiency such as yellow discolorated leaves and also reduced bloom count and also sometimes the blooms don't even get to open and they dry out we can also see that the plant has grown multiple crowns. For example, one is right there where the younger, smaller leaves grow from the center. And then one is here. And the larger crown center is here. So today we will be separating each of the crowns and repotting them into separate pots. Now let's take a look at this plant's root system. So we will take the plant out of the pot and let's try and squeeze the plastic pot gently to release the soil or the potting mix and try pulling it out and it pulls out easily so normally when the streptocarpus plant grows older the roots fill up the entire pot and this is what happened here this is the wick and yeah it definitely needs some fresh potting mix 
to grow healthy. So we will need to release as much of the potting mix as possible, the old potting mix. First we will separate the wick and we'll throw it away. And for wick I just use regular acrylic 4-ply worsted weight yarn. And I have a huge stash at home from my knitting and crocheting projects that came handy for my new African violet growing hobby. And we can also wrap it in paper towel to collect some of the moisture from the potting mix. Just like that. And let's see if we can separate some of the potting mix by just teasing the root system gently. Yeah, it's just one solid root ball at this point and that's another um, sign telling us that it's time to rejuvenate this plant. So let's remove the older leaves because we will not need them and also the spent blooms and the bloom stalks. And sometimes it's hard to remove them I found so I just use scissors and just cut them off at the base. Just like with reporting African violets I remove the blooms because blooms spend a lot of plants energy and we need the young crowns that we will separate to focus on growing the roots first. So I want to separate this crown from this bunch of other crowns. This large yellow leaf needs to go so we're gonna just snap it off. And this way we can see better. So this is the point where I will be cutting in to separate this ground here. So I'll take the exacto knife and it needs to be clean. It's helpful to clean it after each procedure to make sure there is no unhealthy bacteria on it and so what I'm doing now is I'm cutting away the crown and here we see the old part where the blooms were so we will cut it out as well and then try cutting it away along the surface here to see if we can then separate the roots and I use another instrument that I have that has a longer blade it's a letter opener but again you can use anything else and we separated the root ball here but the crown doesn't have any roots on it it has just a little bit here which is totally fine because we will be rooting it in a fresh potting mix. So we have some of the older growth here and we can just break it away. This is one crown that is ready to be potted into an individual 3 ounce plastic pot. So let's see what else we have here.
This one probably is not gonna work even though it has roots. Well, I might try potting this one as well because I don't see the central bud inside, but it might grow. And then here, there is a bud in the center. So this one will root. And the remaining one, remaining crown here, even has some roots. So let's keep some roots on this one. As a result, I have three larger crowns and most of them don't have any roots or have very small roots. This one has the largest amount of roots here. And also four very small crowns that I will try and root as well. I will be potting them in the Prions plastic pots and I put the labels with the name of the variety and the today's date. I use the same potting mix recipe for all of my Disneyriot plants, African violets and streptocarpus and apicias, and I will include a prompt here to my potting mix video. So in this pot we will plant this crown that has some roots. And we will just put the potting mix around, not to bury the center of the rosette, just like we do when we pot the African violets. The potting mix has been pre-moistened and this is a fresh batch, so it's still quite moist. So I will not be watering uh, these crowns just yet because it's important not to overwater them. the larger leaves we can place the smaller plastic pot into a plastic cup here and it will hold the larger leaves upright. So here we have seven young crowns of Dale's Polar Canary individually potted in the three ounce plastic cups. These will go into the mini greenhouses for about a month or two so they can start growing fresh roots with some extra humidity boost. And after that I will be potting them on wicks just like this plant here. Uh, and it's Bristol's Nightfall by Ralph Robinson. And this is how I divide and repot my outgrown streptocarpus plants. I hope you found this video helpful.